Now we are going to see the calculation part of laser experiment. The aim being determination of wavelength of the given laser source. The formula is the wavelength of the given laser can be determined by this formula xm divided by n m root of x m square plus l square in meters where x m is the mean value of the certain order of the readings while we are performing the experiment we can find it in meters for example if this is called as the zeroth order the central bright spot and to the left and right we get first order second order third order and first order second order third order respectively to the left as well as to the right m denotes the order from the central bright spot towards the first order the distance will be taken as x similarly from the central bright spot towards the first order at the right side it will be taken as x for the right side it is x for the left side the mean value of xl and xr will give you the mean distance of the first order diffraction bright pattern or bright spot from the central maxima maxima denotes the brightness of the light so here xm the mean distance of the the certain order of maxima to the central maxim in meters n is number of lines per meter in the grating that is number of lines per meter in the given grating usually the value will be provided as 1 lakh lines in 1 meter that is 1 into 10 power 5 or 10 power 5 alone lines drawn in 1 meter of the grating the value will be provided or we can take this as n is equal to in the given grating a student's grating will be provided in that you can make a note of it at one side there will be the manufacturer's name on the other side there will be products name and that on the other side there will be given as n is equal to 2500 lpi in the lab a grating will be provided to you to perform this experiment if n value is provided you can use that or if n value is not provided take the grating that is provided to you to perform the experiment on one side there will be manufacturer's name products name and at one point you can see that n is equal to 2500 lpi here you can do this calculation 2500 lpi is lines per inch therefore you get 2500 lines per denotes in one inch one inch is 2.54 centimeter so i'm taking approximately as 2.5 centimeter centimeter is into 10 per minus 2 meter so we get 
2500 lines divided by 2.5 into 10 power minus 2 meter. So we get lines per meter here. If you do the calculation, you will get 10 power 5 lines per meter. So that is what here it is given. M denotes the order of the diffraction pattern. From the diagram you can see it is the first order, second order and the third order to the left side and right side of the central maxima. Now the laser source provided to you for this we are going to find the wavelength using this given diffraction grating and the diffraction pattern will be observed in the given screen. This diagram should be drawn. Then the tabular column is only one tabular column. This is used to determine the wavelength of the laser. That is the order is first order. M is equal to 1 denotes it is the first order. 2 is second order. 3 is third order. So here, while performing the experiment, we will measure the distance of the first order maxima from the central maxima as XL1, that is for the order 1. Similarly, from the, the distance between the second order maxima to the central maxima as XL2 for the order 2 and to the third order it is XL3 and so on. Same way, the procedure is made for the right side also. That is the distance to be measured for the first order, second order, third order to the central maxima as XR1, XR2 and XR3. So this is a sample reading and the distance between the grating and the screen is measured as L. It is 35 centimeter and the distance from the center of the first order maxima to the central maxima is 2.5 and 2.5 centimeter at the left and right side of the central maxima. Similarly, for the second order it is 5 centimeters and for third order it is 7.5 centimeter. So, it is easy to calculate the mean value XL plus XR divided by 2. If we will get the same value 2.5, 5 and 7.5 and using calculator you can find this as a root of XM square plus L square. I am doing a sample here. For the first one XM is 2.5 centimeter, 10 power minus 2 meter. L is general to all the three orders, 35 into 10 power minus 2 meters. So, root of XM square plus L square is equal to root of 3 point, there is 2 point, 2.5 square plus 35 square and 10 power minus 2 square here. 10 power minus 2 square here. It is taken as common as 10 power minus 4 and it is taken out of the square root as 10 power minus 2 meters and it is taken here. So, we are going to find just xm square as 2.5 square and l square as 35 square because 10 power minus 2 meter is already here. We are not going to use that 10 power minus 2. So, root within bracket we need to apply in the calculator as within bracket in this way that is root and then bracket 2.5 square plus L square as 35 square close the bracket is equal to will give you the value 2.5 square plus 35 square I got 35.089. Similarly, 
for the next one 5, 5 square plus 35 square as 35.355 and for the third order it is 7.5 square plus 35 square with the root we got 35.794 now to find lambda we are going to use the calculation part For the first order, given data should be done for that is formula. For the first one, the order is 1 and xm is 2.5 into 10 power minus 2 meter and root of xm square plus l square is equal to 35.089 into 10 power minus 2 meter with this you are going to take with the appropriate values and then n value is for all the values it is 10 power 5 lines per meter now the formula is lambda is equal to xm divided by nm root of xm square plus l square in meter. So what is the xm value? 2.5 into 10 power minus 2 divided by 10 power 5 into for this particular value the order is 1. For this the order is 1. So 1 into 35.089 into 10 power minus 2. So double bracket, apply the numerator, close it with a single close bracket divided by and then single open bracket, substitute all the denominator and then double close bracket is equal to will give you the value. I am using the calculator now 2.5 into 10 power minus 2 close with the bracket and then 10 power 5 into order 1 into 35.089 into 10 power minus 2 double bracket. I got 7.1247 into 10 power minus 7 meter or it can also be written with multiply by 1000 I will get 7124.7 and divide by 1000 you will get that is multiply by 1000 I get 7124.7 divide by 1000 I get 10 power minus 3 over here. I'll get 10 power minus 10 meters. So I'll get 7124.7 angstrom unit. That is what given in this. So I get four digit number 7124.7 angstrom unit. Similar way for the second calculation, the order is very important it is 2 and xm is 5 centimeter I'm writing it in meters and then n is 10 power 5 lines per meter and then root of xm square plus l square is 35.355 35.355 into 10 per minus 2 meter 35.355 so now use the formula lambda is equal to xm by nm root of xm square plus l square meters.
xm is 5 into 10 power minus 2 divided by n is 10 power 5. The order is 2 and xm square plus l square is 35.355 into 10 power minus 2. So if you use that, just I'm using the calculator with the replay button. Order should be changed. XM should be changed and 35.355 into 10 power minus 2. I got 7.0711 into 10 power minus 7 meters. So as usual, 3 digits over here into 1000. Therefore, by 1000 will give me 10 power minus 10 meters which is 7071 angstrom unit. So, I am writing it as 7071. Even you can write that 0.1 also. Answer unit. For the third order, do the calculation. Detailed calculation is very important. Now, for the third order, I am writing the formula. I am substituting 7.5 into 10 power minus 2. N is 10 power 5. Order is 3. And it is 35 point. 794 794 into 10 power minus 2 meter I get so using the replay button in your calculator the calculation will be so easy order should be taken as 3 35.794 is equal to I got 6.9844 into 10 power minus 7 meter. So as usual into 1000 and by 1000 that is into 1000 will make this value as a 4 digit number 6984.4 and by 1000 will give 10 power minus 10 meter which is 6984 0.4 and unit. So it is 6984.4 and unit. The average value is add all the 3 and then divided by 3. 7124.7 plus 7071.1 plus 6984.4. I got that is. I am writing it here 21180.2 then I am going to divide it by 3 divided by 3 I got 7060.06 so I am taking it as 7060 angstrom unit so this is the wavelength of the given laser source Therefore, using laser experiment, the wavelength of the given laser sources, given laser source is 7060 angstrom unit. Thank you.